Okay, so in this question here, different ways of doing it, right? The way we often learn to find 20% or 12.5% is we always sort of go for 10% first, don't we? So on the side here, I'll deal with the 125 to begin with, okay? So I want 20%. Well, let's work out 10% to start with, okay? 10%. Well, to get 10%, of course, you've got to divide by 10, haven't you? Yeah? Okay, so... 125 divided by 10, I get 12.5, okay? Basically, th this number becomes 10 times smaller when you divide by 10, so on a place value chart, everything shifts over to the right by one place when you divide by 10, so the decimal point ends up here, yeah? Um, you get 12.5, so if 10% is 12.5, 20% will be double that, which is 25, okay? 10%, double 10%, you get 20%, so 25 is our answer there, okay? Um, to get 12.5% of 80, well, if we do 10% to start with, 10% is 8, yeah? So you're dividing 80 by 10. Um, now, I want 2.5% as well. The way I go about that is I work out 5% to start with, okay? Because when I know 10%, I can get 5% by halving, can't I? Because so, you know 10% is 8. 5% will be half of 10%. So half of 8 is 4, okay? Just halving, that's all I've done. Think about it. It is half that value, isn't it? 5% is half the value of 10%. And then to get 2.5%, well, if you think about it, 2.5% is similar to what I've just done with 5% and 10%. 2.5% is half of 5%, isn't it? So you've just got a half 5%, which is 2. And then to get 12.5%, I need to add these two together. Okay? I need to add 10% and the 2.5%. So 8 and 2, I need to add together, gives me 10.